amazing. <laughs> and he's not amazing. Babe, you are a full pop star. <laughs> What do you mean? So Why fun. was I not expecting that? <laughs> no. I don't know what I was so expecting, funny. but that was amazing. But I tried so hard to not have this like really high annoying voice. So I went like here. You know, I said like I really want to do it this live. down here. <laughs> After we just did this. <laughs> <laughs> No, Gorge. Hi, Gorge. It is me, Got Nick. And me, Violet Chachki. And welcome back to another thrilling, chilling episode of No, no Gorge. <laughs> we are so excited because this week I have one of my favorite angels of my life, Heidi Klum. Mwah. Super Hello. model, legend, icon, and star. Thank you so much for world. being here. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. We've been working together so long and now to be like sitting here in drag at this point in my career with you and you have a new song, you have new things. Like it just seems so crazy, like full circle, honestly, for me. So thanks for coming. I remember one time oh. I was doing your makeup and you were like, you just love to sing all the time. Yes. You were always singing. Yes. And I was like, you should have an album. And you're like, no. Yes. Like, but know. deep down, I want to say, yes. 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 That was so good. You literally like, sound you should amazing. do more music. Well, but really, it is also Tiesto. You well, know what true. I mean? Producers and are important. One, I mean, he made the song. Obviously, it got originated by Corey Hart, who, right. you know, this from the 80s, this song. But like, he made that song. And then, to be honest, I'm not a singer obviously if you had a real singer doing this it would sound completely different but you're a vocalist but like you know yes. but no but a recording have... artist well that's what no, i said i'm like, I I mean, they have singer, these amazing I'm a vocalist. machines and they can help you that's you know the way it is no. you, you yeah. know i go like i wear my sunglasses at night you know and then the, you know when it sounds a little it sounds off, amazing to me you know then they go zoop, zoop, zoop. they tweak it around a little bit i think sometimes it's about having the idea and just right putting it together we go out a lot and we should be wearing sunglasses no more. i stole someone's sunglasses the other day and i was wearing them at the club i was like why do i not have these all, all the, the time? time but i always end up losing them true i always end up losing them well, i'll usually find a guy that has sunglasses on and go flirt with him That's and i usually okay. take his sunglasses off of him and put them on and then i leave i mean we <laughs> I also that. like to be looked at you know right. i think that's why also we like to wear like outgoing oh, outfits and makeup things. i mean we don't do this because we want to blend in exactly <laughs> but i feel like you know not everyone is like that and i feel like that gives them the opportunity hopefully to be a little bit more letting loose on the yeah, dance floor you know free. a little bit love a hidden meaning behind I sunglasses well, at night. well that's what the song's about i mean if you look at the lyrics, yeah. like to hide it's sort of like hiding and being protected having yeah, a shield exactly how, how did you guys meet we actually met through laganja stranja Really? Yeah. yeah. How did you meet Laganja? Because Laganja had been on my show before on oh, Germany's Next Top Model. Right. Yes. And, you know, and we just stayed friends afterwards. Yes. You're also this, the most amazing type of person. That's just how Heidi is. Any yeah. show she's on, she's like friends with everyone. Authentic. Like, yes. like, no, true. But, and then I asked her, I said, you know, I'm doing this television show. It's called Queen of Drags in Germany. Oh, yes. And I said, and I don't know if this is okay and if I also could wear you know, extravagant drag. makeup, you know? And I don't even know if I want to call it drag. I didn't know because I also never want to step on anyone's toes. Right. But I was like, I want something special. And I feel like I can only get that if I work with someone, you know, from the field. So Absolutely. I didn't want to have like a regular, let's say fashion makeup Editorial artist, you know, and artist. then it's, it's, it's just different, you know? Yeah. So then, you know, I think she gave me like different names and then I literally looked on Instagram and I looked around and that that's, you know, how I looked at all your stuff and I was like, yes. Oh my yes. God. So <laughs> that's cute. crazy. Yes. I know. I and then you that. came in, you always were wearing like an orange hat. Yeah. That's, still, <laughs> that's still a thing. The orange oh, hat yeah. has not gone away. Oh yeah. Okay, good. I love the orange hat. Always orange hat. Like, <laughs> yes. And it was amazing. It was so fun. I remember I was like, you know, obviously I was a makeup artist and I was just like working my way every single day, just like climbing the ladder and fighting. And I always just wanted to have like a fun person. I felt like in so much and in Los Angeles, it was just like smoky eye, like little 
boring. Shimmer on the lid no. and like do a beach wave, and that was all I did every day. And then they were like, Heidi Klum wants you to put her in full drag every day. Yeah. And I was like, you're kidding me. Yeah, I was like, so I was like crying. I was like, this is the best day of my life. And they sent me your outfits, and they were like, design whatever you want. Yeah, just because go. I wanted, you know, I wanted you to put you onto each of the looks. You know, I'm like, every look different. So you had like white, I mean, yeah. lashes where I was like, I don't even know if I can open <laughs> my eyes, but I will. Oh, or my like, God. no lashes up to like, <laughs> like paper lashes. Lashes. Yes. So lashes. Heavy. Yes. Yeah. Oh my like, God. I don't even know how you wore those all day. But uh, I was like, I have to wear them, so I don't <laughs> care how I will, but I will. I mean, you're like the queen of of it was turning fun. literally the queen of Halloween truly yeah. I'm just gonna give oh, you yeah. that crown thank, right now thank you're you like, I'll take it give it to me you're give like me the, the queen crown. of turning looks you're the queen of Halloween <laughs> and we're like trying to like live up to your example no yes. but honestly literally I did those parties and I wanted to always give it my absolute most and everything in order to inspire others to also Let's, step let's it dress up, up right. guys. Yeah. I came to New York City and I probably do the party maybe 22, 23 years now. Mm -hmm. And I came to New York and I'm like, where is the party at? This is New York City. It's I come from like a small town. And looks I'm and like, this is New York City. Where is it at? And I couldn't find a place. And because everyone was just like, okay, they put a red clown nose on and it's like, hey. That's it. And that's it. Or whatever they were doing. It was always kind of boring you know and i understand also like most women who are maybe they can't be so razzle dazzle in their normal life they want to be like the sexy nurse or the sexy policeman right. it's all <laughs> fine but there's also a lot of artists Fantasy. and a lot of the people like think outside the box and do something fun so i thought if i do that more will and i have to tell you over the years people were going more bonkers and more out there and more magic you know more magic was happening yes, i feel like because yes. they were like you watch i'm already planning six months ahead and i'm like yes i can't wait so i love the creativity of it and you know for p people to come up with amazing things i mean I the ones that you have done it's just like unbelievable blowing sometimes like, they're, like around halloween they'll be like a uh, timeline of your looks or something or you'll do an like interview a, or something swipe through. and every single year I'm just like sitting there just like, like wow. the one if I saw it for the first time I'm like wow amazing. but I do have to say also all the things that all the looks you turned out I mean you know I always write you when you were on the show you were like I mean there were some looks in there too that were like dang it Yes. No, I Great mean. Great ideas. Oh, thank you. Because it is about, you know, it's about the ideas and then obviously also the execution. But sometimes, I mean, obviously it's all of that. But the idea sometimes is to have the idea, you know, because sometimes it can be like a super simple thing. Like, for example, there was one person came as a mattress. It was literally <laughs> a mattress, <laughs> like a mattress, like a full on king size mattress and hollowed out the inside only where the person was going to be with the oh, arms okay. like this. And inside the mattress, and I think it was actually 20 years ago, but I'll never forget this. This person as a mattress running around. And I, was like, I love unbelievable. that. Unbelievable. But you're right. It's a simple idea, but it's yes, executed so super. well yeah, and because, effectively. Yeah, I'm sure he maybe just found this on the side of the road. And just like, I mean, I'm just saying, you can be creative. It doesn't Without have to be money like. Money and you can be, yeah. and all this stuff. Especially Halloween. I think this past year, when you were a worm. I literally <laughs> I am so mad I wasn't there because of the outfit you wore out of the worm <laughs> the fully crystalled bodysuit with your worm yeah. face <laughs> and I'm so mad I didn't get a photo with you like that and there's like not enough press around you and the crystal bodysuit and the worm face because it was like a little circle of the worm and then her in a fully Swarovski nude bodysuit yeah. Because I said I wanted to be like really looking really naked because I thought it would be like, okay, after like I just looked so ridiculous and I wanted to because they were like, let's take this off. No. We can give you a f quick face. I'm like, honestly, I'm like, honestly, I love it. It looked like bacon. At that point. <laughs> it looked like bacon and my face looked so flat. It looked like truck drove over my face. No, I've only found like one photo of you like that. I'm like, why is no one else thinking this is the best thing they've ever seen in their lives? I actually haven't seen it's it. It's so I, like, funny. The, we'll she put wore it in the video. She wore a new Trusty bodysuit and then just a worm face. It's yeah. so funny. No, I love it. I love the one where you did like a million Heidi Klums oh. on the red carpet. Yeah, that was like, hard. Like all the stunt doubles. That was, that was like that 
idea already alone. like find so cool already find like five girls already just with your yeah, i mean look at us when we all stand next to each other we all have different, different height, measurements like, and everything just to find five girls that want to do this then put prosthetics on their faces to look like you to it's look like me so because they can't even it's not their face so they have no benefit from that but just saying yeah. that they did it and the money that it paid them but it's not like you know it's not like a model then it's like okay they show their face they and get this to be is out, my brand people yeah. get to see them you get know to it's like myself yeah. they got my face stuck on their <laughs> face so it was kind of like you know, pointless for them. Yeah, it's not a big you know? break so for them. Yeah. Thanks again for doing break. that, girl. <laughs> Icon. But, but that it was hard. So it was hard to find them. Cool you know, of an idea. It was so cool. Like that's so badass. I want to do that so bad. Your brain I would is love just to, I would love to clone myself. <laughs> you, I want to fuck myself. Oh yeah. That's yes. the Gemini in me. If I could clone myself, <laughs> and I'd be set. I would be set for life. Oh, like, you would never leave. The oh, house. I'd never leave the house. If, I had, if there was two of me, literally, you would fuck yourself and be like, oh, so that. That's why they can't stay hard. And I'd be like, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, I'd be like, and that's how it's supposed to be done. <laughs> that is funny. Where's the craziest like you've ever gotten ready, or like the craziest show you've walked, or like award show? I feel like you've just well, you've lived done everything. Such an incredible life. I'm like. I can't imagine like, like I mean, the crazy. craziest stuff. I mean, stuff. Victoria's Secret was always crazy. <gasps> like chaotic. Oh my god, you were like the Victoria's well, Secret dolly. It was crazy because uh, you know we got to wear like crazy wings. Wow. Yeah, Are they they were heavy to wear. But who cares? Oh, you were so. I loved it. Those if videos were, of you. If they were small, I would be like, "Why? And what have I done? Why am I getting <laughs> these small wings? <laughs> oh my god. And I kick and scream like a four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I being punished? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, no, for that me, like so when there were other girls that were kind of like, oh, these wings are so silly. I was like, okay, fine. You just give me yours if you don't like them because they're bigger. <laughs> I'll walk again. <laughs> you wear these little chicken ones. I wear those big ones. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching that show and being like, like it was a Super Bowl to me. No, yeah. it's gaggy. I mean, you're like the angel. No, yes. it was it was a lot of fun, especially Ugh. with all the girls. Like Tyra, so much fun. Oh Stephanie God. Seymour. Oh, legends. Helena Christensen. I think uh, Claudia Schiffer walked it a few times. Uh, yes. Naomi Campbell. Oh, everyone. Um, the icons. It was fun. I mean, and that's like the era of the supermodel. I mean, you know, I was lucky when I got to be next to like Naomi. I was like, okay, I'm like right behind Naomi. This is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidating, but exciting. Yes. You know, in the beginning, you're kind of like the new kid on the block. You're even right. lucky you get to have one look, you know? <laughs> Oh, so we was, know. Yeah. Trust me. Oh, yeah. You know, I was a lot of the time, like when I would go on Victoria's Secret photo shoots, for example, we would go to, you know, to an island somewhere. I was like, you know, the soccer players that are, have to wait on the bench until someone <laughs> hurts their foot or something. And then it's like, <laughs> yeah, then it's like, you're like the you're like the backup, <laughs> but it's happened, girl. I was the backup for a while. Really? Yes, because I it takes imagine. a minute to they, you know, to then the audience or you know the, the people then either they buy or mm -hmm. they don't buy what you wear and if people are not buying what you're wearing a lot of the times they believe you know that it had to do with, with the, the model person. and then so it, it took a minute until they would put you in more outfits and then you know once they saw like okay the pieces that Heidi's wearing are selling now we give her more you know so then it got wow. it I got feel more, like even though sometimes the energy of the model can kind of come across in the photo or in the catwalk and that can really sell the garment I believe a hundred percent 100% and you're like my favorite example of that you're just the most amazing light of a human <laughs> being like which obviously transfers your like a personality across like worldwide what's the difference between like a coat hanger and somebody who's like no a I want star. the big wings I want to be this I want to see how I look I want to feel the fantasy I want to live the life and there Not is scared. a difference yeah. yeah I always loved it I also never cared about like showing off my body I was like heck to the yes I always said <laughs> I always to said yes. to them too I was like why are we not do because I was always really into the arts obviously Mm -hmm. And you know, like Joanne Gare, the body painter, she did mm -hmm. a lot of the body paintings for um, for Sports Illustrated. And then I always said to Victoria's Secret, I'm like, why don't you have her paint some of those amazing lingerie on us, and then we walk it nude? Like I was yes. even like, yeah, like I taking was it like, a step further. I was like, Let's have it body painted on us, but the actual outfit you, you can paint buy the it, outfits you know? on us, and, and then you can rhinestone that. us yeah. too as the you outfit. Know? 
That's but amazing. They weren't going for that, but <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Yeah, Heidi, here, put the bra on." <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is everything. One of my favorite moments ever of you was like the when you got to be the model in Sex in the City when oh my god, when Brad Pratt fell, yeah. Rogue, Passion Rogue Girl. Girl. It's so funny how that had become such an iconic moment iconic. that at that moment you don't know that this becomes a moment, though. You know, yeah. sometimes a lot of those jobs you do them and you just. Hope. so happy to be right. there and you know we were also there was other models that day that came with me to the set and you know they were just like okay Heidi can you remember those three lines <laughs> and I'm like okay yes and they're like okay just stand over here say that and then you're just gonna walk over her we're gonna make the scene fuck me hard Heidi go Oh my god, she's fashion roadkill. I mean, I didn't write the script, but like, that's how they wanted I it. I loved it. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like, that's like my favorite like, show ever. My favorite ones ever. I just watched it from start to finish, like, I don't know, in the past like six months. And when you walked over, I was like, not Heidi in every show I'm ever obsessed with. In, in retrospect, it's like, it's so amazing, like, how lucky I got that I had those opportunities to do. I mean, that was like a huge show. Yeah. You know? Oh my god. I mean, Beyond. did you always want to sort of break through and become a media person and no, become no, no, no. but like i tried to do like acting i moved to la from new york with khalees you know khalees my milkshake iconic <laughs> so we used to be roommates together and they were roommates oh my god they were roommates Wow. in Los Angeles her and her little puppy and we were always trying to you know get acting jobs yeah I mean I would go to many studios and read parts and sit in waiting rooms and but I don't know it was not for it's me really I, hard. I didn't I, I only got like a few things I didn't get yeah. a lot of things I wanted to but I really didn't you know they didn't want me there but I feel like you've, you're in your own lane though you <laughs> really become like there. Want me there. <laughs> you're like a multimedia person you have all these shows that you do and you become like this fixture I almost know. in like media I got really lucky that I got the shows you know that I that I'm doing I mean again bringing it back to Victoria's Secret days because I was working so much with Tyra they would call us tidy and higher up but <laughs> but like tyra That's too cute. at the same time when i was doing project runway she was doing top model right and then later on in germany they were like oh we want to do the show that your friend tyra is doing in germany why don't you host it? So then that's how that started. Like a few years after Tyra had started it here, yeah. I did then Top Model in Germany, which I'm still doing 19 years later. That's incredible. Oh my God. Have you ever experienced like cattiness in the industry or Not like anything bad, crazy no. like that? Not super bad. I mean, it's mostly like, you know, girl sometimes power. there will be like <laughs> photographers maybe who, you know, I remember I was like in Las Vegas having to do for a brides magazine. Like, do you Bridal. Remember, is it, does it still even exist? Brides magazine? Yeah. I'm sure it does. <laughs> I did the cover and probably like 14 times I got married inside. Like I had a spread <laughs> with this guy, this hot guy. It was like when I first came off the boat from Germany. I didn't really take a boat, oh. but I took the plane. But <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm in Las Vegas with this hot guy getting married to this guy for the, you know, for the photo shoot over and over again. And the photographer was just not happy with my smiling. And he was just saying to me how it looks fake and how I have to learn how to smile better. And oh my god, yeah, the smiliest person I've ever yeah, met. Yeah, but I feel like there then that really got me into like, okay, I take that note and I'm gonna work on that. And I I worked on smiling better. How do you I even mean, do that? Yeah, you have so a gorgeous literally, smile. No, but literally, well, it's like I literally like look in the mirror and try to be like real about it. Right. You know, uh, instead offensive. of, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I never smile in photos for a reason. Yeah, maybe I don't have a real smile. But he was not happy with me. And I was crying there. And I was like, oh, you know, wow. and the editor was like, you know, this is not helping. Like, we want still to get all these other shots done. And uh, making her cry doesn't help. 100%. That's crazy. I mean, but I feel like the industry maybe has shifted a bit. I think people are a bit more cognizant of the way they deliver notes and things like that. I would hope. I would hope they are. When I started doing makeup, I mean, I don't know if the industry is still the same, but it was like working for free every single day. Like, you know, it was just like always just hustling. And you're like, they're like, you just got to go assist everyone. And then one day, like they won't be free. And so you'll get to do this person and like just always hustling. But it was those photographers that were so hard on me where they would be like, why aren't you over there and doing your person and doing this all at the same time? And I'd be like, <laughs> and I would like sob on set. I'd be like, I don't know why. I'm like crying. And I would just be like, 
those moments to me though were like so important to like grow and be like okay yeah. like i do need to have an assistant so i can be in 100 places at once and have a walkie talkie and like be able a to get... walkie talkie yeah, i'd be like are you on set what's it looking like <laughs> god like i'd be like going i was like hustling but what's it look... describe, describe it to me describe it to me do we need gloss? Ten four. Uh, glasses flying in flying glasses is she sweaty yeah. rated I'm like, use the because... dab of setting powder be there in five ten like, four crazy. because a little glow is kind of nice from uh, one to ten how sweaty is she yeah. <laughs> fully that but it was like if i didn't have those crazy people in my life i was like i probably wouldn't have done that and i wouldn't have grown as an artist and then sometimes i'd be like see a new makeup artist and it'd be like a set of like a bunch of us and i'd be like they haven't cried on set yet you can <laughs> like, just, just tell they haven't been broken like, no they haven't been broken in yet <laughs> like, <laughs> you should make special lashes for it for the party yes oh. For everyone. For everyone. You're like, I just want lashes. And, yeah. we all, and we all wear the same lashes. I love that. We'll have a lash table. Paper ones. Paper oh. With rhinestones on them. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know how she was in Why do you home. not love top and bottom so much? Um, Because I have like really little eyes. Like I don't have your eyes. Mine are so Heidi, you but are I a supermodel. I love bottom also. I like bottom too, but if I had, I mean, it's just. I like tops. If I put. <laughs> Nice one. No, but Great I love. I know, but I love top and bottom. <laughs> 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 like, look. I know. I mean, Heidi, you are a supermodel. Like, I have really droopy, manly eyes. I think the first time I did your makeup, I tried to like not even put bottom mascara on you or something because I wanted it to be like so snatched up. And you're like, no, no, bottom. Like, we need bottom but lashes. Have you ever like face tapes and like got you have like they like yeah. Face, I'm so yanked right now. We have so much face tape on. We're oh, like oh yeah. under the it's wig. Crazy. It's like so much. It like gives me a headache. Yeah. No. One but, time, like, love it. One time I did your no, makeup and the makeup on. was like so high up we couldn't even put eyebrows on you anymore because it was like so high and you looked at the monitor and it was like an outside set or something and you go it looks like i'm not even wearing anything <laughs> you're like i need more and i was like honey there's no room for more like what do you mean you're like i just need more Warm. and then one time i had like injected lips like we were doing like a skit oh yeah i put prosthetic lips on you put prosthetic lips on me yeah. too oh yeah the same one yeah the exact same no ones? the brand oh the brand <laughs> yeah wow that's hilarious that was crazy yeah. i forgot about that yeah wow i should repost that you one you just love putting prosthetic lips on people I don't you <laughs> that was so fun oh I my god like, i looked uh, like um jennifer coolidge yes yeah. from white the lotus. white lotus yes a hundred percent i looked like her i, I think she she's amazing yeah. Yes. we gotta get her on the pod next oh my god yes yeah that was so fun and because you're she just, does have yeah. like more of a, you know, like a... I wish I had a bigger mouth, but you know, when you put that on me, I looked a little bit like. <laughs> That's a good thing. She's an icon. <laughs> she is. She's an icon. On America's Got Talent. Always just having the best time. I got to do your makeup well, it one is time. It's so for much it. fun. Yes. It looks like you're having the best time ever. Every we time. We did the green look. Yeah, we did full green, like sparkles. And yes. Music. It was fun. Oh, I so remember fun. this. Yeah, yes. It was so fun. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. Glitter and you just, I mean, you've just become like a... I mean, I see the craziest things on America's Got Talent. You know, there is like people that variety. balance on top of each other's heads without anything. It's like insane what they yes. do. I, got, I think when I did your makeup too, it was like early... I think it was like early in too. So it was like kind of audition-y time that I got oh, to do it. So it's they were the like, best. so it's everyone the best like, was like makeup artists and stuff. They're like, we're going back. I was like, I want to stay out here. And they were like, okay, well you have to sit over there. And I was like, okay. And I was like, gaggy. I was like, it felt like a no, child. No, that would like, be like, me too. Like I would want to be there the and show. see it, it because it's so, so amazing. Cool. Like literally you get to see the most incredible people from around the world doing the most outrageous things that you would not see anywhere but on America's Got Talent, you know? I yeah. love variety. I don't like when it's just like one, like singing or this. It's like, I want to see yes. the crazy variety acts. Like and I'm you at like a really, circus. You never know who comes on the stage. So, you know, sometimes, you know, someone comes and like farts. <laughs> <laughs> like literally As like- their talent. That's the talent, and it well, either this sounds one could no. Give it, a yeah, problem. you're talking, <laughs> honey. Sudden, I can smell like, you from a mile like, away. No, they're like farting, and it makes you know a song. Like they properly oh, make song. a song, or you know, there's a candle, and then they fart, and then the candle is <laughs> like he's <laughs> shooting at the candle. Wait, is this a and real it's act? It's going off. Probably. Yes, that's a real act. That's a real act. <laughs> yes. I need to work with this person. <laughs> we should do it. 
No, I'm, we should I'm serious. Serious. <laughs> We take over their act. Yeah. There's one guy, he's called the regurgitator. Have you heard of him? No. <laughs> he swallows things, so he asks me um, for my diamond ring. No. Yes, I give him my diamond ring. He swallows it. So then, you know, he has a locket. He opens it up. He swallows it. And then he swallows the key. And then all of a sudden, so he, he, and then he goes, up. yeah, it, and he's, but he swallows everything after the other. And the ring and it's locked and the key. Yes. He goes like this. No. He does all this weird stuff. <laughs> 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 and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's my ring inside the locket locked and he has the key here and he's like and here's the key and did then i give open it back up. to you or did you have to hold his soul no but yeah, how about you. but how about how did that get into the locket how did Talent. i get into the locket and how did he get that out i have like a secret like i don't even know to get it down and it back like up a fetish maybe it's a I trick it. it could be a trick Heidi. He, but but he also had pennies he had like pennies okay and then he wrote numbers on those pennies. Penny one, two, three, four, five. He sp swallowed them. And then he said, which number do you want me to bring up? No. Yes. No. And I said, number three. And he goes, <gasps> no. <gasps> <laughs> and sure enough, he had three. penny number three with no. it written on. They all, and then he's like, okay, another one. Give me another one. And he would do the same thing. <gasps> and then the number that I said was thrown up. Oh my god, I have I to meet him. Now. We yes. need him on the pod. Like, I have, you have to. I have, like, have an to addiction have him. to Can you connect us with like, the regurgitator? I think his the name world. is Stevie. 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 We're looking for Mexico. you, babe. I'm, I'm telling you, I mean. Bow down to the regurgitator. I bow down to the regurgitator. It's just like <laughs> I do. Like maybe he was a little bit too out there for people like me. I love I him. I love that. Well, who do you think is the the best supermodel of today? Like of the of the new generation? Supermodel? You, I wouldn't call him super. Who I mean, I no. I would say Ashley Graham. Oh, she's yes. changing the game. I love. Yeah. Because I love you know not only her also her curves obviously but also I love all the messages that she like brings you know to the table and just as a human being i think well, she's she like a great that, person an you energy know? it's similar to yours she does. she's like, like radiant fun and i don't know just everything that she talks about i'm like yes yeah. talk about it you know yeah 100 percent. i agree and i like that about her i also love winnie a winnie lot Harlow, i was gonna say that too you know she's super fresh gorgeous i mean she's i agree just stunning. And Those she are two does. amazing examples. They both have an energy and a freshness, I think. It's like a modern, it's just not a conventional model either. They're like, they go beyond just modeling. It's like they have personality. They yeah, have they're very a point similar of view. to your vibe. Yeah. Like they could be full TV hosts. Oh, like yeah. they're both like amazing people with like things to say and things to personalities say. to show, and they're just stars, which is very your vibe too. So I see that. Those are two fabulous ones. I know. Amazing. Tell me who who is on your list. I also like Alex Castani. Oh. Alex Castani is Kastani. turning me out. She's hilarious. Have you seen her on TikTok? She's this. She's amazing. Fresh. Like she's like really skinny blonde trans girl, and she's like, have you seen her? She goes, well, yes. Well, yes. She did Victoria's yeah. Secret this year. Okay, she's fresh, okay, fresh, okay, fresh, okay, fresh, okay, fresh. Yeah. I love her. She's so funny. The diva, like, I love. I lo yes, the world. I love Kaya also. Kaya is amazing. so sweet. You know, yeah. I think she's beautiful. Kaya is one person too, and I would like. Um, I was so scared to tell Cindy Crawford I was transitioning because I was like, um. and she was always my example too. I'd be like. What do you what do you mean like i already have a career like when i was stressing out about transitioning the first time i was like what do i'm just gonna show up at cindy crawford's house and be like i'm a man now and everyone's like yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i literally did i was like so she's a shitty and she was like work and then to this day she'll like we'll be at a party and she'll be like get over here and she'll be like kaya do you remember back at the day like so fun and kyle be like yeah mom I'm like it's crazy so yeah. fun she's no, like definitely an up-and-coming diva well make it something that you really love burkine as well Ooh, oh yeah have you ever been to burkine i've never been to uh, this day i love burkine oh so you God. have i love panorama i go every time i'm in berlin i go no matter what she hasn't yeah. been since i've been friends with her and i haven't we're been. planning when it gets warmer we're gonna go we're gonna go for whole fest yes 
It's is like that is this, that like Easter fasting? Yes, yes. <laughs> I think it has something <laughs> to do. Fest. I'm like, whole fast sounds like Easter fasting to it me. It has something to do with that. <laughs> yes, it's, it's those two things combined, I believe. <laughs> no, I was there also. I was there for Easter, and you know, friends of mine were like, "Oh my God, let's go to Berkheim. It's Easter fasting." <laughs> 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 and I went, and I went, and I was like, I mean, the line to get in is like people are waiting for days to even just get That's in. Me. Did they have shit lollies? when you were there okay well i didn't go down to the basement i usually go to panorama <laughs> bar upstairs but you sounds like you went downstairs no they hand out shit lollies so <laughs> and these shit lollies i'm talking about those are like frozen sticks so it's like you know like frozen ice cream but yeah. it's not cream it's uh frozen sticks so it's frozen shit lollies <laughs> you know yeah I know. Well, I, <laughs> the way that I describe Berkheim to Mick is like I don't like, even know if it's better when it's like still frozen or if it's. I think soy. they defrost it. I've or heard they, they do it like a monthly. <laughs> I've heard oh that they microwave God. it. By the way, I didn't have any shit left. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was nice that they hand them out for people no, who want one. No, I think you even told me one time. <laughs> you were like, I had to wear a hoodie and hide from all the shit sense of everything. Yeah, no, because it was insane. It was insane. I didn't know what to wear, and I also don't know how cool they were going to be there by the way everyone was super cool but yeah. regardless oh, yeah, i put on like a black hoodie and i just put all my fingers in there and everything because it was like there was oh, it was just a <laughs> lot of different kind of smells coming right. from all different right. places you know like shit smells different kind of <laughs> body odors and eau de Every, uh, uh, a lot of eau de toise a lot of <laughs> A lot, a lot, a lot. It was a lot. It was, it's an experience, you know? Well, I want to take Mick the so music, bad. The music, yeah, yeah. Because the music, again, the bass, they have boxes, like speakers in there that you've never seen Huge. in your, li in your like life. It's like going into of. a Batman movie. I can't yeah, describe you, it. Like, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's yeah. like you go into yeah. a movie set. It's the biggest warehouse open, like techno crazy. Yeah. It's like you're in Gotham City or something. I don't yeah. know how to describe it. Like, it's like a bunker. It looks like an above ground bunker. Okay. We're going to go in the spring. <laughs> we should all go in the spring. <laughs> Easter. Really Easter fisting. <laughs> Easter fisting. <laughs> we'll go for Easter fisting. Oh I have to see the tie-in of like exactly are there eggs involved? Like I'm so confused like how this all ties together. It but... just happens to be it's on Easter weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think there's a deeper uber deeper meaning That's to it. It's just Easter weekend. It's just Easter fisting. Well, hey, I'm down. I love it. I'm not, he is risen. Yeah, he is risen indeed, honey. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my God. Well, thank you so much for being here, Heidi. This episode has been so amazing. Uh, thank you for sharing your rich and fabulous lives with us. Mm, thank it's you. It's been such a treat. Thank yeah, you you're for truly me. a star. And I just can't wait to see what you do next, honey. I love you. Love you, Gorge. Love you. And we love you out there. Thank you so much yes. for watching this episode of No, no Gorge. Gorge. And we'll see you next week. Bye, Gorge. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye, Gorge. Now, of course.